On August 18, 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto invented something called Bitcoin, a blockchain-based cryptocurrency. Nobody is sure who Satoshi Nakamoto is. For all we know, he could be a group of people. But why is his name so important to us? Satoshi Nakamoto has about 1 million bitcoins, which translates to about $19 billion. He isn't the only one who has made a shit ton of money from cryptocurrency. Chris Larson has also made a lot of money from cryptocurrency, having a net worth of about $7.5 billion. Chris Larson is the executive chairman and co-founder of Ripple, which uses blockchain technology and is a system for verifying and recording transactions of all kinds of assets, including its own currency, XRP. Anthony Dioro, Matthew Rosjak, Cameroon and Tyler Winklevoss, Shang Peng Zhao, and Joseph Lubin are a few of the names in an endless list of people who have made a fortune from cryptocurrency. And then, there's Laszlo. Some of you may already be familiar with the name. Why is his story so popular? During the early days of Bitcoin, Laszlo bought two pizza for 10,000 Bitcoin, which was worth $41 at the time. Today, 10,000 Bitcoin is worth $90 million. That transaction is believed to be Bitcoin's first fiscal item transaction. May 22nd is celebrated as Bitcoin Pizza Day because of this transaction. The story of Laszlo brings me to the first method of making money from cryptocurrency, which is hodling, aka long-term investing. This simply means buying a coin when it is cheap and keeping it until it blows up. Once a coin gains mass adoption, its price is likely to go up. If Laszlo had held on to at least 5,000 out of his 10,000 Bitcoin, he would have instantaneously had enough money for retirement. This strategy is what you guys should be implementing now in an age of Forsage, Million Money, ETH Matrix, Vumo, and the rest of the likes that have flooded the market. Here's my prediction of what's going to happen. Due to an increase in the average number of Ethereum transactions, the price of Ethereum is likely to go up. But as soon as Forsage and the likes die down, the price is likely to return to its base level because the number of average transactions would have reduced. All these are speculative, but they are likely. Once a lot of people start buying a certain coin or any commodity for that matter, its price is likely to go up. I could be wrong, but I feel that Zafond, Bitconnect and the likes played a role in the astronomical rise in the price of Bitcoin to an all-time high of $20,000. Bitcoin hasn't touched that price till date. But before you begin crucifying me in the comment section, I didn't say Zafond was the only reason. Clearly, Bitcoin having mass adoption, market manipulation, all could have played rules in what happened. But this is just my speculation. And I see the same thing happening to Ethereum. So what do you do? Buy a lot of Ethereum and just wait. Wait and see if a spike in Ethereum price will happen. If and when it happens, sell and make your profits. I am not a fan of Ponzi no matter how well it is presented. So I feel hodling is a good old fashioned way to make money from cryptocurrency, which is really legit. Hodling can take years, so it isn't instantaneous. Look for a coin that has a really low price, buy it and pray. A good example would be Electronium coin. I bought Electronium coin sometime 2018 and the price was really low and sometime August 2018 the price quadrupled. So if you had $1,000 worth of Electronium coin at that time, in August 2018, you would have had $4,000 worth of Electronium coin, which can sell at the time and make your profit. So personally, I would recommend Electronium, Prism, and Binance coins. These coins are relatively cheap today, especially Prism and Electronium. Electronium later dropped back in price, but it's a very good coin. There's every likelihood that it will eventually climb and sustain. So I am recommending Electronium. Prism, Binance coins. But I do see great potential for significant jump in price. Second method, mining. Mining simply means confirming crypto transaction. It is more like doing what bankers do and getting paid just like bankers are getting paid. If you are mining a coin from your device, it simply means you are confirming transactions that have been made. I mined the Electronium back in the day, but at the moment, I think they have been decentralized so I can't mine it anymore. Mining can greatly heat up your device, and it isn't as profitable as it used to be. Not all coins can be mined by just any individual. Some coins are mined centrally, 
head over to coinmarketcap.com to see all the coins, including the ones that can be mined and the ones that can't. In the early days of Bitcoin, mining could be done on a desktop computer, but today it requires specialized mining hardware. And such hardware are not cheap at all. In my opinion, Bitcoin mining is a bad idea, except you have the money for the hardware and the patience to wait until you break even. Another alternative would be to join a pool where a large number of people mine a certain coin together, making the process faster and more profitable for everyone. But be careful, there are a lot of scammy ones out there that are not profitable at all, so be sure to do your research well before you join anyone. Roy Club is a good one that mines Britain, and they have been around for a while so I trust them a little, but don't consider this financial advice, please remember to do your own research. Number 3. Collecting airdrops and forks Airdrops and forks are the crypto equivalent of being in the right place at the right time. Airdrops are free tokens, usually distributed by an exchange to generate awareness and create a large user base for a project. Forks are essentially changes or upgrades in a protocol that creates new coins. I personally collected a lot of free coins through airdrop, but I don't do those anymore. Some of those coins never make it into the market, but if they do, then you are made. Bitcoin hosted its own airdrop during its earlier days. All you need to do is to promote the coin on your social media, essentially giving the makers of the coin free publicity, and they give you a few of their coins for free. If the coin eventually becomes valuable, then you sell the coin and cash out. A good example of a coin that made some of my friends some money was a coin called Hydro. All my friends did was to publicize it on their social media and send proof to the company, as well as their wallet address. They got some hydro, I can't remember the exact number of hydro coins they got, but hydro hit the market and they sold their hydro coins and some of my friends got $3,000. This was before I began doing airdrops. So airdrops is a good way to make some money, but I must say that I don't do airdrops anymore. There are far too many coins that don't make it into the market than the ones that do. So for that reason, I don't want to have to gamble on so many coins that don't make it into the market just to get a few ones that will eventually make it into the market. So I spend my time on all that stuff, but airdrops are still very profitable. 4. Trading This is similar to hodling. The only difference being that while hodling takes several years or months, trading happens on a day-to-day, minute-to-minute basis. If you are good at analyzing charts and trading, then you can make a lot of profit by swapping digital assets on a regular basis. Trading can even be a full-time job which provides enough income for an individual to survive. But the profession can also be risky, so be sure to have a reliable source of income and do not pump into the crypto market more money than you can afford to lose. 5. Staking and Lending Staking and lending are quite similar and allow investors to make money with altcoins. Staking essentially means locking coins in a cryptocurrency wallet and receiving rewards to validate transactions on a proof-of-stake network. Instead of mining, POS algorithm chooses transaction validators based on number of coins they committed to the stake. POS does not require expensive hardware and is much more energy efficient. So Theta, Neo, Stellar, these are some of the coins you can stake and it's also very profitable. In staking, what you're essentially doing is lending coins to the network to maintain its security and to verify transactions. Another option to earn money with crypto is to lend coins to other investors and generate interest on that loan. Many platforms facilitate crypto lending, including exchanges, peer-to-peer lending platforms, and decentralized finance applications. 6. Arbitrage Arbitrage is another way to make money from cryptocurrency. This simply means buying a digital coin from a cryptocurrency exchange and then selling it on another exchange for a higher price. If you do this soon enough, it may be an easy way to make money. But honestly, Crypto arbitrage is rare and it probably will make you a lot of money. Some of the advantages of arbitrage are instant profits and possibly low requirements for entry. The major drawbacks. Good opportunities are rare and high risk of losing profits due to high volatility in the crypto market is present. Number 7. Crypto Social Media In 2016, Dan Larimar launched Steemit, the world's first blockchain-based social media platform. The platform rewards users with its native coin, Steam, for creating and creating content. Steam ran into some troubles after 2017 and the number of users have been declining since. However, 
multiple other platforms have been built on the initial idea of rewarding users for creating content. Narrative, Sapien, and Scorum are some very good examples. 8. Cryptocurrency faucet. Crypto faucet is like a dripping faucet. Actually, it's a website releasing small amounts of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin every few minutes. Of course, you need to do some tasks according to the website requirements. The crypto faucet website will make money with advertising and traffic. While you are waiting on the page, there will be advertisement placements. Advantages It's easy to use and it's easy to earn coins. Disadvantages It gives you very small amount of coins and you spend a lot of time there. 9. ICO ICO means Initial Coin Offering which are similar to crowdfunding. ICO allows entrepreneurs to raise funds by creating and selling their virtual currency without risk capital. It is the potential to make a huge return on your investment, but it also brings huge volatility and risks. ICOs have a lot of pitfalls. You have to be careful about choosing the right ICO. If the ICO coin is not very valuable, you run into risk of losing your money. Therefore, you better invest only when you think the project is good enough and only invest with an amount of money you can afford to lose. Advantages Opportunity to invest in prospective enterprises at an early stage. Of course, if you invest in a company when it's still young, you make a lot of money from it. Think about Netflix, Airbnb, and the list goes on. Low entry threshold. No commissions, no taxes. Disadvantages Mini scams, hacker attacks, and high volatility. 10. Crypto Gaming This is a fairly common way to earn Bitcoin, playing games to receive BTC. The company needs more people to download and play the games to make the game more popular. These games will award BTC prizes to users when downloading and playing. Your job is simply to have a phone, download these games, then sit and play. After completing the game, you receive a certain amount of BTC. With these methods, it's easy to earn Bitcoin, but you have to spend much time. 11. Be a blockchain developer. Blockchain development is not much different from regular web development. Many developers have developed their own distributed application on some platforms such as Ethereum and NEO. Then you can earn money by displaying ads, purchases, subscriptions, etc. within the app. However, creating and maintaining a common blockchain is not easy. First of all, the code is public and visible to everyone. Anyone can view the code and check for errors and vulnerabilities. This allows any programmer to invade. Advantages High salary, safe way to gain coins. Disadvantages Well, you must know a lot about developing. Click to pay websites. There are many websites that will pay you in Bitcoin or other crypto coins if you watch an ad or click a certain page containing ads. If you are immune and want to make quick crypto buck, then this can be a good idea. Bear in mind, to make any significant money is still very hard work and a rather tedious task. BTC for ads pays around 100 satoshis, which is 0.00000 Bitcoin. Wow. And CoinAda pays around 25 satoshis per click. So they play rather little and it's probably not worth your time. Doing a micro job. Much like micro workers and cloud factory which pay you a small fee to complete very simple tasks like watching a YouTube video or completing someone's survey. There are several micro-working sites that will pay you in Bitcoin. Bitcoin gets is the major player in this market which will pay you around 20,000 satoshis per task while there are several others like Cointasker that will pay you slightly lower. Running a signature campaign in Bitcoin Talk Forum Bitcoin Talk is one of the oldest Bitcoin forums set up by Satoshi Nakamoto himself. This is probably the most popular forum in crypto sphere and is used by millions of people. If you are an avid follower of the forum and you have racked up some authority from consistent posting, then your post in Bitcoin Talk will have a sponsor signature and you will get paid by sponsors for every post you make on the forum. According to Steemit, you can easily make a bit of coin doing simple forum posting. For example, a full member can earn 0.003 BTC per post. I hope you find one or two of these ways of making money from crypto appealing. Go ahead and give it a try. Find a low risk one and just experiment a little. With time, you may find what works for you and that may make all the difference. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.